Hello everyone, this is Suja. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today I just wanted to go over TradingView. So TradingView is an app that helps you basically chart price action to a chart. And there's different charts you can use, like, you know, this is the candlestick chart. This is the price action chart, or should I call it? I call it the price break chart, but it's actually called the line break chart. This is called the Renko. This is called the Kagi. And then if you really want to go old school trading, you can actually do bars. <laughs> so it depends on what you want to do. You can switch time frame. So this is a day. This is a week. And this, my friends, is a month. So you're going to be using this tool to, again, help you analyze where you are in the market, where you want to position yourself and where you want to get out. So there are probably other tools out there. This is free. The free account does pretty much everything it needs to do, but I'm just going to tell you straight up. I don't have the free account. I have the paid account because it was black Friday and I bought one just to see what it was like. But the, the free account had this, I didn't upgrade anything. Right? So in my free account, I played around and I had all these, you know, really cool EMA, you know, stochastics and RSI indicators here. And this is sort of my setup. You don't have to set it up this way. This is my way of looking at the market and what I think is going to happen next. I am going to be talking more about, you know, line break charts, Kagi charts, and then Renko charts, because I want to give a general understanding of those charts and use those in my analysis. And that's pretty much it. You know, again, you don't need to get the paid account. You can get a free account, does the job fine. And hopefully, you know, you enjoy trading. A lot of you who are going to be joining me need to understand that trading is a lifelong thing. There are, there are ups and downs. And the fact is, you know, there are drawdowns. I read about it from a really cool trader. Um, and he was talking about how he had like a drawdown for, I think six months. That's when you just can't make a profitable trade. You, you're just, I guess in a way you're burnt out. So you have to be consistent. You have to know that there are risk and you have to actually keep trying. Otherwise you're not going to get anywhere. Consistency is basically key to pretty much everything in life, right? If you want to be a good chef, you're constantly cooking and trying new recipes. If you want to be a good engineer, you're constantly making things, you know, you're consistent in becoming better at each and everything that you make. And then, you know, if you want to be, I don't know, a mathematician, you're always studying math, you're consistently putting effort into something. So trading is like that, but trading is a lot more riskier because in one sense, what trading is, is gambling with statistics. <laughs> if you really think about it, right, if you look, look at it this way, these things right here, this is what we see as like Plato's cave, right? This is the shadows. This is what we see as the result of a cause. The cause is in the background that we may or may not understand. Think of technical analysis as a language where you make these words, you know, which you call patterns, right? Whether it's head and shoulders or, you know, a cup or whatever it is. And you use those words in conjunction with happenings on this thing called a chart and you try to predict what's going to happen next based upon how those specific words, indicators, patterns came to be and what was the result afterwards. So it's a, it's an interesting field of, of study in and of itself. And it's an interesting field to be in, to make money and also lose money. <laughs> so again, you have to be very careful. If you are starting trading, also know that you need to have a stop loss and you can actually use paper trading from trading view and you can actually, you know, test different trading things. So like here, strategy tester text, there's a, there should be a trading panel. There we go. Here's paper trading. So you can connect a paper trading account and then you can basically, you know, give yourself, I don't know. Oh, I gave myself 30 grand. So <laughs> this is fake money by the way. So, you know, you can give yourself a billion dollars and you can trade using real data. So you, there are things you can do here that's going to help you future self and everybody else who's looking at it to trade better, become better at it, you know, be more consistent and really just kind of shine in this area. So again, that's pretty much what I had for today. Thank you for joining and thank you for looking at this video. I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy your journey into the crypto trading world. <laughs> Bye.